This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Vanguard Bandits. In the last episode, we made our way to Nordelane to try and find our way to the Empire, and we came across a, an awkward scene of a father and daughter, you know, spending some quality time together, which in itself isn't awkward, because, you know, they're family and their children and you know just just that's just how it is but we came across some awkward secrets that they shared in confidence and due to the pr spoiled princess made an enemy out of Nordelane and Claire and her father who had to beat back to stop from killing us and well we're not gonna make any friends with this princess on board but I guess we got to keep her until we uh, save the the world or the continent from the Empire so today we continue on and Hopefully one step closer to ending this charade. So let's start with the interviews like always and see what happens today. That looks like everyone's looking good. My association with Sadia has not exactly been a beneficial one, Bastion. In fact, it's been an utter disaster. That's an understatement. Do you think that Sadia will allow us to sample some imperial cuisine when we reach the capital? Because of that. The only action that I've been seeing lately is on the battlefield. Do you think my sideburns have gone out of style? Maybe. Slightly. Slightly. Only slightly. Was it, uh, does my mustache tickle you when, you, when I kiss you? Only slightly. Only slightly. Alright, let's get the rest of the interviews out. See what they say. Ashen, you're too nice to sit here at... You're, you're too nice to tell Sadir to leave us alone, so I'll gladly do it for you. Well, the reign of the, the newly appointed a genius has a point. What's wrong, Bastion? You need to show me your fighting spirit. Don't throw a random shonen anime into this. We're not quite there yet. Almost. Well, actually, actually, a lot of the ticks can be checked off the box for shonen almost without actually being a shonen anime. Well, a lot of the cliches are there a little bit. Telephos Village. This is, oh right, that's that's right. From last episode, we are running into a the Empire and Kingdom fighting each other, so we're gonna have to help the Kingdom out. Uh, we're gonna help Zera after all this time. It'll be nice to see what he's been up to. This is a massive battle. How are the Kingdom's forces holding up? Bastion, this is a perfect situation. Your appearance is certain certain to rally the Kingdom army. And when the battle has been won, it tells you if your heroism is spread across the continent. Which will make it easier for me to unite the continent after the Empire has been quashed. Don't plan, don't start playing too far ahead, Bastion. We have to win this battle before we do anything else. True, but w with a lot of ally units, we should be okay. So, let's see how we can help uh, the Kingdom fight the Empire. I'm assuming it's going to be all Sharkings, right? Against everyone else, so. Ah! I knew it. I see Zara and Faulkner. This, mu this must be the vast majority of the Kingdom Army. Well, this is a surprise. Prince Bastion and the others. I've been doing your princely duty since you left, you lazy piece of... <laughs> your Highness! Where have you all been? Ah, we've been going on a trip. It's been a very long story, Duke Zara. Yeah. Props! Sorry, excuse me. Props, that's best saved until after we've decimated the Imperial Army, then? Yes, I would believe so. Kingdom reinforcements. I thought this was practically every attack they could scrounge up. It's Sadira and her new friends! Strike them down, Faulkner! Every one of them! Man, he's still angry about what happened before. Are you certain, Your Highness? I, s I no longer have a sister, Faulkner. She died when she betrayed me. The woman inside Sylphie is nothing but a, is but a traitor's wench. Whoa, dude, that's your sister. Holy crap. Man, he must have, she must have really pissed him off. Hosh, I like it. Your wish shall be ex ex executed exactly as you desire. Show no mercy, my magnificent legion. Destroy them all. All right, looks like we have to help the Kingdom Army against Sharking, so... Probably gonna be taken out for the most part. Let's see. How many? We, let's see. Okay, looks like we got Imperial units and bodyguards. So, so looks like we got like five Imperial first units. Uh, Sharkings with all the tricks and trades. The 22 high weapon. 
Uh, let's see. And all the basic weapons. And let's see what the bodyguard stats are. Looks like they have a bit higher weapon and power than the standard Imperials do. Uh, but same same abilities. Uh, actually, do they have the different facial? Yeah, the Imperials have the standard guard motif. And then the bodyguards have the bodyguard like little image there. So, gonna be all they're all going to be dangerous. Uh, and then we got uh, Dyer and the Cerebellus, like always, level 20. Even stats for, for the most part. Well, defense, though, so I'm going to smack him pretty hard uh, in his Earth abilities. And then we got Faulkner and his uh, Solar Solaris uh, at, 20, at the highest level, 28. Woo! Good thing he's not in the Zolwarn, but in this, in this site, in this story, he hasn't found it or hasn't had need to because he got the Ultra Gunner, which ended up not working for him. And, yeah, he's got all... All the fire abilities, so that's going to be a bit painful, but uh, he'll be the biggest threat for the most part. And our allies, we got Zera, 25, uh, high power, uh, and all of his wa uh, wind abilities. S uh, Galvis and Serata, with all the fire abilities, with high power and base. Uh, and then three kingdom units, and high Zurans at level 21, so basic stats. They have their wind abilities and four kingdom units in glaives at level 20. Even sets as well with ice abilities. So, but we don't have to worry about them. We just need to worry about taking out the, uh, um, uh, um, sharkings that are there. Just don't go out too far, unlike last episode where freaking Andrew got taken out like almost immediately. Yeesh. Oh, I forgot he could attack twice. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Just gotta get just uh, close enough to without being surrounded by them, so. Oh, I forgot to check my levels and everything. I'll do that here in a second. Yeah, you guys are pretty much done for. Luckily, they have a pretty decent amount of units here. Okay, anyway, let me check my units level wise. Um. Probably like our characters to at least gain a level of peace to level up to 23 or 22 at least. Uh, map pretty straightforward, really. You have to deal with some height differences, so that might affect movement, but nothing that we can't handle. Really, no way to like block off to so you're gonna have to block off directionals with your own units to make sure people don't get attacked from behind. And let's see, tactics, yeah, annihilate the enemy, like always. Oops. Come on. I assume they're gonna yeah, start attacking us, so. And I'll just defend. She doesn't have enough agility. At this point, it's almost better just to straight defend and uh, to try and risk uh, um, avoidance. As, like I said, that's the like I said in previous episodes, that's the problem with the end game is that uh, agility almost becomes kind of worthless. Like, agility is good at the beginning and the middle game, but as soon as it comes to the end, you almost want to just have high uh, a health and uh, um, health and defense. So, yeah, it's the trouble with the... I mean, not that we can't handle, but still, it's uh, definitely a challenge every time you play this game. Really, if you're a... Uh, aw, man. Uh, really, if you're playing a luck-based game, then yeah, you want to go with agility, because you, you want to hope that the numbers kind of uh, go your way. Man, Dyer might be taken out pretty quickly. Now well, the AI is definitely not the smartest I've seen. I mean, they beat, uh, they've, uh, I think I've only lost once in this uh, game to a, in a battle, but still, which means it's not, not completely terrible, but that was more of a fault on me for not paying attention. Yeah, you can tell most of the regular units just can't handle the, uh, um, sharkings. They're really there to basically get... Although I don't know why the leaders aren't actually doing anything. Like, not moving. Oh, well, whatever. But yeah, we're, they're basically supposed to distract them until uh, till we can get there and start working on them. I'll try tackle so we can yeah, the counter. Attack if he doesn't. Oh wait, did he get his new uh, water ability yet? I think he did. 
Yeah, tidal wave. Very nice. Not the strongest ability he's got, but uh Yeah, might as well use coolie miss, why not? That'll help uh, uh Sadira and uh and uh, uh Andrew use their abilities quite regularly, so What? 99%? He doesn't have a thing where he can avoid from the side, does he? No? He just got really, really lucky, basically. Wow, that's dumb. I hate you, XCOM. I mean... Sorry, every time I have bad numbers, I always blame XCOM. Oh, nice. Getting the... At least the is gonna get some... Because her... I mean, for the most part, her abilities are pretty... Pretty solid, so. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Oh, yeah, I should raise her power so she can get double attacks. Keep forgetting about that. Well, at least we're getting something there, at least. Yeah, come on, go off. Oh, all right. Don't do anything. Well, we're pretty much going to be left with all the sharking. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Yep, they're all going to die. Yeah, let's surround that guy and take him out. Yeah, you're not going to want to attack now with those numbers. I thought Dyer would be taken out, but they didn't. Uh, they didn't get their turns fast enough to take him out. Yeah, Sharkies are dangerous for being the most comedic path. The the uh, Ruin Path has a lot more danger. It seems like because we have to fight all these Sharkies at once. Ah, oh, man, come on! They should be able to take him out, right? Come on, do it. Well, almost. Anyway. Come on, you can do it. Take him out. Or not. I don't know. Okay, so you gotta keep counting. Why do they always do that to her out of all the characters? Does she have enough movement? Yeah, we'll just... At least give her some, something, at least. Tidal wave. Missed. Yes, yeah, equally miss has its uses. I mean, you could get by without it, but it helps. Helps make the combat go a little bit quicker. Right, finish him off with that. Hopefully, it goes through the same. Thank you. Whoa, that was a lot of it. <laughs> that was a lot. See, he already has his uh, double attacks now. Probably should. Uh... Yeah, I'll just give him defense so when he gets hit, it doesn't completely wreck him. Alright. Yeah, we're getting close to the end of the game, so I'm not. I'm not too worried on levels, really. Um, but I want some. I, I usually like everyone having everyone be, you know, not average. Uh, everyone. Kind of even with each other, so they can, uh... Yeah, apparently he... That's fine, it'll work. That'll work. Why was it red this time and not yellow when he did coolie miss? Huh. Oh, it's because I used agility by accident. Whoops. Oh, well, whatever. That's fine. And I'll max him out so I can do that.
Yeah, almost, the Kingdom Army will almost completely do get decimated pretty quickly for the most part. Very rarely do they survive for very long, except for Zara and Galvis will survive for a bit. Because they're actually, you know, main characters and not uh, generic units. But uh, that's the nature of the nature of the red shirt beast, as it were. Actually, I don't even think any of them have red shirts, but still, still. Yeah, we're just getting Sadir all types of levels, really. Yeah, it'll work. Yeah, might as well take on Faulkner. Right, right now. No. Oh yeah, he has double attack, doesn't he? That wasn't too bad. Despite all his stats, he didn't hurt us that badly. Okay, maybe he's there. Yeah, this won't survive too long, but still. Actually, the odds, uh, the percentages seem to be working pretty decently for the Kingdom units. Well, for the most part, anyway. They survived longer than I expected them to. I was about to say, is Galvis actually going to start helping us by this point? Just take out Gus. Dire, dude. Or not. Whatever. Have, t have crappy stats. It's fine. It's okay. Whew. Yeah, Sharkings just do a ton of damage if you're not, if you're not careful. Just gotta ca counter her, yeah. Oh, if he counters her, though, that'll, uh... That'll finish... That'll, uh, freeze him up, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll let her take the hit. If I can get, a. Uh, um, if I can get a, uh, oh, he has double, man, everyone's getting a double, all the main characters need to get double attacks at this point in the game. Do I get a damage on that? Oh, that's right. He has that, like, stupid, like, if you attack him from the front, he has a high chance of just outright dodging it for some dumb reason. Good, thanks, dude. Oh, I didn't even need that much damage. <laughs> yeah, I could spiral dive him. There we go. Yeah, it looks like the kingdom units are almost out of dudes, though, so... Want to be. I'm gonna see if I can try to get Raina to get the... Get the kill, maybe, or at least do a ton of damage, finish him off. I was about to say that uh, what, this isn't as epic as the, uh... Empire ending or kingdom ending, but I don't know, fighting a bunch of dudes on the map is always epic. I'll admit, ever since, ever since Lord of the Rings, though, everyone's tried to like, try to make like their own version of the, you know, uh, big army scene at the uh, the final movie. Like, and any time a fantasy movie or sci-fi genre tries to do something like that, it loses its flavor. It's kind of weird, you know, that uh, that that happened because you would think any time a big army appears and just all the chaos. And, oh, there goes Galvis. All right, thanks for that game. Uh, would be epic, but for some reason a lot of games just put in an army scene without, like, really the good context of it, so... Oh, anyway, let's finish him off with Raina, of all people. At last, I shall remember this, and I shall gain my revenge. I swear it on my burning soul. Haha, -ha, you got beat by Raina, who has possibly the worst stats in the game. It's sad, really, I mean, you know, just, you know for some reason she just becomes the punching bag of everyone. That was a different bunch of cow. Why not? Yeah, I'll have to... I'll have to get uh, Barlow over there on a, on a turn so he can help the uh, healer. Oh, I should have moved her over next time. That's... oh well. No, I can't use turbulence because he'll be uh, maxed out there, so... I'll just move like over here or something like that. Man, we are not. 
I thought the odds were kind of going with us, but now that I've seen, like, who's left, I'm kind of afraid now. Like, really afraid, actually. Look at that. I mean, luckily, the as far as I understand, the AI is relegated to... Um, is relegated to fighting them first before me, but... Uh, like, they need to finish them off for the most part before they go after me. But still, there's not so many units left. Ah, really? Nah, I could move in close for a, an actual hit. Really? Really? That's why we're going. Why? What, you f could have finished off Dyer, dude. What are you doing? There he goes. Yeah, let's help have her use her ability. I hope it's out there. FP'd. Does he have enough to actually heal her? Yeah, he does. Alright, good. I mean, yeah, it's delaying the inevitable, but still. Yeah, let's get some damage in on these guys. At this point, I'm not caring about how, uh... Um, yeah, we'll leave well, well enough alone. At this point, I'm not caring about, uh levels. I thought about I thought about it would be good to do that at the very beginning of the fight, but after a point. Uh, really, Zara? Alright. Let's just start taking these guys out one by one, at least. There we go. Yeah, there you go. I'll start evening our first stats. So that'll be probably be for the best. Now there goes Zara. Yeesh. God, that leaves us uh, six, seven dudes. Oh boy, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully, I'll be able to beat them. I mean, I th I'll probably be able to. I just, you know, you always want to worry about stuff like that. I mean, a lot. We have a lot of pretty decently leveled characters and uh, our stats are, are um, well set up so yeah I think I'll just use Reyna unless she gets a good opportunity I'm just going to use her as a because she can't get a lot of damage and half the time she gets countered anyway so I'm going to just use her to basically make sure my heavy hitters get a um, get damage and all that like a Like Andrew and such. I mean, I could use him as a. Uh... All right, I was about to say I could use Barrow as also a support character too, which would work, you know, healing people and stuff like that. But all right, Andrew's getting some lucky shots there. So. Now I want to whack on guys that have been whacked on that. Uh... Whack a guy, whack off a guy, whatever you want, man. Nice. Alright, keep, uh, keep evening him out. Hopefully you should start getting, uh... Hopefully you'll get a... Start getting double attack here pretty soon. Waste a spiral drive on that dude. So. Uh oh, Andrew's in for a world of pain. 
Ow. Well, I said I was gonna use her for for that, but since we have a guaranteed damage there, I will give her the experience. Uh oh, here comes Dyer. You know what? I'm gonna just finish you off. There we go. Ha ha! I'm growing very tired of losing. Damn it all! Oh, that didn't give me much experience, but apparently just enough. Yeah, I'm not gonna counter this time though. If he, oh, okay. I was about to say, if he comes up and hits, I'm just gonna try to dodge or whatever, so. Oh, wow, I didn't know he was. No, well, either way. Looks like I still don't have double attack yet. I think I need more BAS to get that as well, I think. I know how to get it, it's just I always forget the exact stats on how to how to fix it, you know. I guess either one would work really, because for whatever reason they're not countering him. Off with that damage? Yeah, there we go. I'll take that. Let's see, what how much a bit overkill. Yeah, I'll do that. Good, because they were all weakened by the other units, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be A okay. Stop trying to just straight up murder her, dudes. Yeesh. Yeah, actually, if you can get two coolie missed people to keep using it on each other, that actually is a pretty decent strategy as well to kind of keep them doing their abilities. Now, if Andrew's luck can hold out until uh, until the end, or Raina's. Raina seems to have the worst luck out of all the characters, even though that's not really a thing in this game. Uh, either way it would work. It does, it does you know, increase the time it takes to finish a battle, but I'd rather just have a guaranteed win than, than possibly just straight out dying, you know? Yeah, I could use win strike this probably. Or not. for a bit. Aha. Yeah, now he shouldn't be straight out, like, destroyed every time he tries to uh, fight people. Alright, we're almost done with this. This whole army of sharkings, nothing but cheesecake to us. Easy peasy, Gary Teasy. Oops. That's Bridget Blake Cam, that should finish him off. Glad she unlocked that. That helped us out for a bit. Oh, by the way, not every character can get double attack or t uh, two attacks or whatever. Even though you can get the stats for it, not everyone's. Uh, not every. Uh, character gets that ability even if they have the stats for it. So if you see some characters that should have the same stats as someone else and they don't get it, it's because their character just does not unlock that ability. So Dyer and Faulkner retreated to the Imperial Capital. Yeah, what else did they got? We destroyed their whole army of Sharkings. All, all it'll take is just a steamroll right into the Empire and save the world. That is one amazing tale, Bastion. You are fortunate Sidir's actions didn't get you killed. Yeah, tell me the truth on that. Your Highness, thank you for saving General Thompson. We knew that he and his men were trapped within Isa, but the Empire was too strong on the front lines, and we were unable to send troops to their escape. Yeah, this is the... wait. 
Yeah, this is the one time that Thompson doesn't get outright murdered in the storyline. Weird how it's this path that does that. Yes, in spite of the difficulties you encountered, you have helped many. I am quite proud of you. However, our celebration shall be short-lived if the Empire is allowed to make more sharkings. But how long could it take him? It seems like a hop, skip, and a jump to the Empire. Then let us formulate a plan and quickly set in motion. I suggest that we split up into two groups and obey the capital from opposite directions. Doesn't it seem logical that we should stay together, Reyna? It would seem to be safer. I agree it would be somewhat safer, but divide our numbers hedges our bets somewhat. Oh, so? I didn't know Reyna was a strategist. Not that she's dumb, just I didn't think she was one. E even if one group is tapping the Imperial Army, the other can still safely proceed. Oh, is this the reason so we don't have more members joining our group? We just have to stick with what we got, so that's their explanation? I see what you mean. Even if one party is engaged, the other is left free to defense. We could attack what remains of the Imperial Army while you sneak into the capital. I should have known better than to try and fool you, Duke Zara. It's settled then. We shall proceed according to Rena's plan, unless someone has a better suggestion. A Galvis? Rena's plan is a fine one, Duke! Duke there. I am ready to depart. Excellent. Let's go. Why is Andrew here if he didn't even say anything? Your Highness! Fight with strength and honor in the battles to come. Remember the face of your father. Thank you, Galvis. But yeah, why is Andrew here? He didn't even get any lines. I guess they decided to put a character there for evenness sakes, I guess. I don't know. I know that our ATACs are severely damaged, Madoc. I am asking when they will be repaired. From the looks of... <laughs> I forgot what voice I gave him. From the looks of it, Falk Faulkner. It'll take two weeks before they're functional. Perhaps months? We don't have a day to waste, Madoc. The Kingdom Army is about to invade the capital. There's no way for me to... Pres Let's see. Maybe I should just do it, old man. There's no way for me to expedite the repair process, Princess Dyer. Then what will we do, Madoc? Allow the kingdom to claim our mighty nation without a fight? Partner, your words should be just as effective as lower volume, perhaps more so. However, I have, I have several prototypes of an attack design which is even more powerful and effective than a sharking. This attack is unbeatable. This attack is unstoppable. This attack is a work of art. You have several of these attacks? Indeed, I do, Dyer. I shall join you, Falter, on the battlefield to aid you in learning the controls and to save our victory. Is that a wise idea, Madoc? I recall that your hemorrhoids were flaying up not too long ago. TMI game! It was just my arthritis. I can sit just fine. If you want to use my Atex, I suggest you allow me to join you. Fine. Now let's hurry up and activate them before the kingdom arrives. Is there no one left in this world without any patience? Walk this way. This is one of the few times I think I've ever heard hemorrhoids in a game before that isn't a commercial. The capital is directly ahead, Bastion. You did it, Bastion! Did what? Once you've conquered the Empire, your power will be acknowledged by the entire continent. Oh yeah, I did say all the way back that I wanted to be the leader of the whole free world for the most part. Huh. Bastion, if you conquer the Empire, I won't have anywhere to go. That's alright, Stira. What do you mean? Because Passion will have to throw you into prison for being a member of the royal family. <laughs> I guess that's true. What? Milia. I was just trying to ease her fears, Passion. And I'm telling the truth. You must imprison her. Oh, wow. Okay. I, Milia really doesn't like Sadir, which this path has not really promoted Sadir in a good light. I'm not going to prison, Milia. Unlike you, Passion values my friendship. All your friendship has brought to Passion is life threatening combat. Why would he value that? Uh, well, there are some people in the world that like being punished. I must admit that Millie is correct about all the unnecessary combat you've led us into. Bastion! Tell this girl how important I am! Uh... Do you really think of yourself that highly, Sadira? Of course, I've always had confidence in myself. But don't you know the difference between confidence and egotism? All I know is that I'm telling the truth. Why should I be ashamed about that? I give up, Sadira. You'll never change. What a pity. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Somehow, Sadira, I think you're the only one who's welcoming us here. 
All I wanted to do is find Faulkner and have my revenge. Oh yeah, that was a thing, wasn't it? I almost forgot. All right, we finally hit the... Wait, that chapter is called Final Battle? What's this next one gonna be called? Well, either way, we beat, we beat Faulkner and his army of shark sharkings, but Maddox has one more plan up his sleeve. What is this ultimate attack that he has planned for us? Will it truly defeat the kingdom? Will the empire reign supreme? Or will Bastion and his friends, despite Sadira being there, and the Tic Tac be able to win out, save the world, and finish Vanguard Bandits once and for all? Tune in next time to the final, final episode of Vanguard Bandits to the Ruined Path and the playthrough in general. Join me next time, will you? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.